This episode of Express Training Bites is brought to you by Promo Corner. Are you looking to support a sales campaign and reach a larger audience? Raise your brand awareness with content sponsorships. For more information, reach out to sales at promocorner.com. So you are watching Express Training Bites. I am Brandon Petrich, Digital Media Director for Promo Corner. Speaking of Promo Corner, we have the man, the owner, the creator, the head programmer, Joel Moore on the show today. Joel, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Wow, I sound important. I'm not sure I'm that important, but uh, I'm doing excellent. It's uh, what a crazy ride it's been this past year. And uh, I'm just so happy to be here and, and, and what we've gone through over this last year and, and everything that we did. I certainly didn't expect to be sitting here with a virtual trade show platform created, uh, you know, tested, used. It's it's really what a, what a long, strange trip it's been. Oh, that is true. And speaking of that, it is almost exactly a year. I think we talked about that a little bit this morning. We, uh, It's been almost exactly a year since Promo Show launched and had its first event and people were experimenting this new normal uh, that is the virtual trade show. And uh, so I personally, uh, since I've got you captive right here, I want to thank you uh, for doing all of the hard work and you and, and Steve, the other programmer, for everything that you guys have done to continuously make promo show better and better. And we're going to get into it a little bit more about uh, how it was created, why it was created yeah. and kind of where it's going and how it can be used. So yeah, and be before we even get into that, I, you know, to thank everybody, this has definitely been a team effort all the way around uh, with Jess and Amelia, uh, Lori doing content and Steve doing a lot of programming. Uh, and of course you, up on the stage and doing all that live stuff for us. It has, uh, it's just been a concerted effort for everybody to work together to, to pull this thing off. And we, and I couldn't be more proud of the team that I have and what we've done in this last year. It's really quite amazing considering, uh, you know, everything we were up against, but, but it was a lot of fun and it kept us going and it gave us something to look forward to. It gave us something to really work on and to sort of keep our, our heads in the game. And so it's what, it's just been a lot of fun. Oh, all right, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> all right. That was good. All right. So we got that part out of the way. So now let's get back into the express training bite. So, uh, awesome. Well, virtual shows, they, it kind of came out of a necessity. So what is going to happen to the virtual show as we start to open back up and live in-person events start to become a thing again? Well, well first off, thank God, <laughs> you know, I think everybody is jonesing to get back live and I, and, and I am too, you know, uh, I really missed uh, going to Las Vegas this year and, and I know lots of people have. And so uh, there's certainly going to be a onslaught of live in-person events. And, and I hope so, you know, that's something that I'm uh, strong, uh, strongly in favor for and, and that one-on-one -on -one contact just, it's hard to replicate in this for sort of virtual environment. Mm -hmm. But the way that I look at it, uh, you know, we'll have this influx of live shows. We'll, we'll, everyone's gonna wanna get back out on the road. But knowing that, you know, the virtual show has a place and I don't think it's gonna be going anywhere. We had uh, basically created a forced training on all of our uh, people that are, have attended, that have exhibited. They got used to, they got familiar with doing uh, these virtual shows. And so when you look at it going forward, you, you know, as a, as a uh, company, you're going to do about 80% of your business with about 20% of your customers. Those are the customers you're going to go visit. You're going to have in-person visits with them. Um, you'll have in-person meetings. Those are those people. You've got this other 80%. And while they only make up about 20% of your business, that's a huge gamut of people that you need to reach. And you got to do it efficiently and economically. And virtual shows is going to be the way to do that. That's going to allow you to get in front and to uh, meet with those people, give them your new products, give them your new programs, give them new ideas for the year. Uh, virtual shows is certainly, when it comes down to cost, uh, lifestyle, and time, virtual shows just can't be beat uh, by a, an in-person event. So I do believe we are here to stay. Uh, we will continue to grow and we will continue to do new things. So uh, virtual shows are definitely here. They're not gonna go, go anywhere. Uh, but again, I can't wait to get back to live environments and shaking hands and hugging people. I mean, I just, I'm dying for that. Totally dying for it. So. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, man. I, yeah, missing Vegas was crazy. I mean, trying to pull off something that big of a show. And I think that's kind of one of the things 
where I personally have kind of seen where virtual kind of can't meet what expo was right it yeah. can do what a lot of those little regionals and a lot of the smaller shows can do it can get you all of that content it can get you all of those connections but man there's just something about being in front of twenty thousand of your colleagues in the industry so yeah. Yeah. uh that's awesome we were able to replicate eye candy in the middle of a promo show so unfortunately yeah, we need that in person uh, <laughs> exactly oh and uh, i mean oh th that would be weird yeah <laughs> Uh, so you said, uh, uh, continue to change up promo show and, and grow. Uh, so what kind of shows has promo show been able to pull off? Yeah. So it's been interesting. Uh, you know, we, we've done the gamut. I, well, I shouldn't say the gamut cause there's lots that we haven't done yet that we can still do, but the, all the shows have been different. So we have had, I believe we're now in six shows into our own. So we put on our own six shows that uh, kicked off with the great outdoors. That was our very first show that we did uh, is uh, I guess as normal as a virtual show could be. We had booths, distributors visited um, and that was basically our basic virtual trade show. But then after that, we had, uh, we went into uh, end user shows. We had a hybrid end user distributor show. And then we also did some uh, basically uh, meeting type shows where you're in the booth for uh, 20 minutes listening to a presentation and then people move. So when we look at the whole gamut of what we did, it's, it's amazing. And, and it really came from uh, you know, working with our customers and trying to come up with ideas to fit their requirements. And so that really made the entire uh, ride this past year so enjoyable because it was just filled with problem solving and, and, and coming up with ideas and trying to figure out how can we do different things and get people engaged. And, and we learned more about that as we, as, we, as we did it. You know, we learned more about engaging people and the different types of things that we could do. So, I mean, we have five of our own shows coming up. Uh, I would be remiss not to mention the Tuesday on the 30th we have our uh, tech and office show uh, that will be beginning at 11 a.m. on promoshow.com. Come on over to do that. You can pre-register now. Just click on the banner on promoshow.com and get registered for that. So we're looking forward to that. We have uh, lots of speakers for that show as well. We have, uh, let's see, Mike Pfeiffer from American Solutions for Business is going to uh, talk to us about cyber risk. Uh, Je Jessica Welling from Jessica Welling Interiors is going to talk to us about uh, home office design and how to do that, which is certainly appropriate these days. And our favorite, David Schultz, is going to be in to update us on all the technology that's taking place in the industry now. So we are super excited about that. We have, uh, let's see, I'm going to go through my list. We have uh, Made in the USA coming up in April. So those will be USA uh, uh, focused products. We're, we're going to have a lawyer that's going to come in and tell us when we can label things USA made and not. Uh, we have the apparel and sports show in June. Uh, we have holiday gifts in August. And then we have our best sellers uh, uh, show in uh, October. And you can, everyone can pre-register for those at any given point in time. Right now, just go to promoshow.com and you'll see all the available shows for us. So um, what, it's just been crazy. And then, you know, uh, with some of our uh, shows that we've done for other people, which has been neat. So we basically rented out promo show mm -hmm. and I think we've done, let's see about eight of those. And so we, we take promo show and we actually skin it. So we put their logos, their color schemes, uh, their banners. So it's, it's their show. It's like, uh, it's like taking the Las Vegas, uh, you know, the Mandalay Bay Convention Center and changing the carpets and changing the signage. So we've been able to do that. Uh, we've been doing like uh, our live presentations throughout the course of the uh, a week all the time. So we have you on uh, ETB and we have uh, Tacos Live and we're utilizing our main stage on there. So it has been, it, it's just been such a fun ride to do this. And we have our lobby and our breakout groups and, and just been able to take advantage of all the technology it has to offer for us to, to make a virtual experience as unique and different every single time as we can, so. Boy, it almost sounds like there's no limits on what you can do. <laughs> well, I'm sure there are. And uh, Steve, I'm sure we'll probably have some questions about that, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been fun. It has been fun and we love to, we love to get new challenges. So anyone that's looking to do something, you know, reach out to Amelia and let us know and, and we'll see what we can do to, to, to design something 
around your needs around what uh, you know you're looking for out of a virtual trade show for sure. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I love that that we hit on that there are events and there are different ways that you can use promo show. But I think the one thing that I that I just it hasn't kicked in just quite yet because I think people are still kind of waiting for that normal to come back. But so is promo show only event driven or how can somebody use, how can a supplier use promo show or even a distributor use promo show day to day? Yeah. And so that's a, that's a key for us. So promo show is open every single day of the week, every day of the year. 24 seven, we are uh, live and, and going. So uh, that's, I think the next step that we'll really see some influx, but we, we've been seeing that already this, this over the course of this year. So uh, with promo show, you know, we have some features. So when you do get a booth and you do get a subscription, you can actually embed the booth onto your website and it'll be dynamic. So if someone's on your website and you're actually in your booth, it'll uh, let them know that you can visit with them now. If someone's not active in the booth, it'll uh, let them know that they can schedule a visit. And so that's a cool feature. It's a standalone booth. So it's not like you were bringing people to promo show and there's potential uh, conflicts there. It's just your booth. It's uh, access to it gives you, you know, you have show flyers and videos. Uh, we have uh, links to the promo corner flyers and, and content that we have there, as well as a uh, partnership with promo plus. So you can get all that social media. And finally, we have a uh, linking into distributor central. So we got all your products on there and whatnot as well. So that is a really good day-to-day -day use of that uh, show. And then the regular promoshow.com attracts lots of visitors and I'll give you some stats on that, but uh, just going there. And uh, when you set up a schedule, you can put in a schedule so that people know when you're going to be live. Uh, they can also, you know, go into your booth and request their own individual times to meet with you. Um, and again, they have access to all that content that you put in there. And that's, you know, one of the things that we learned throughout the course of the year was, you know, initially it was like virtual show. Okay. Turn it on. Uh, yeah, I got my promo quarter flyers. I got my social media posts. They just show up and I, but that's not how trade shows work. We put time and effort into these things. And I think that's what we really started to see from suppliers over the course of the year that, we started to work on videos. We, we tried to focus what we were doing based on the theme of the, of the trade show. And so people started to spend time like they would on a normal trade show to put together their boards mm -hmm. and their booth and their show flyers. And so we started to see more of that. And so as for distributors that want to come, there's so much more content now on promoshow.com as you go from booth to booth. So even if people aren't active, you can still request to meet with them at a, at a given point in time. Um, and you can get access to these show flyers and these videos that they're putting together, a lot of great content that they can share. So that I think is, uh, has been a big part of keeping us going throughout the course of the year. So it isn't just event driven, it's day to day as needed when you wanna get in there. Uh, we have a, quite a, a few booths that are just active. They have regular schedules and they're there uh, for people to meet with and get ideas and, and to sort of take that extra step past the regular customer service. We had about 32,000 unique visitors over the course of the year, over half a million page views over the course of the year. On average, and so this is on average, we have people spending that, that about 30 minutes on the website. That's crazy, crazy time to be spent on a website. Anyone looking at their analytics, uh, it's gonna be a lot less than that. We did uh, about 17,000 video conferences. We did uh, 15,000 unique chats that people took uh, and, and had. We had over 105,000 people enter uh, people's booths. So, and those are unique. So that has been super exciting to see that piece of it uh, really start to take off. And so we, we, we hope to continue that. We, we will continue to build on our platform we're open to ideas. Again, if there's things that people need that we can do, we'd like to do that so that we are really a day-to-day -day place for people to come and meet and discuss ideas and really build business. And, and this is the time, I mean, there's so much cash that's going out into the consumer's hands, the businesses who's, who have received PPP and have been very cautious about that. As things open up, those consumers are going to go into businesses. Those businesses are going to spend that PPP money. This is the time for promotional products, uh, distributors and suppliers and reps to get out there and start pushing because this is when we need to do it. And, and mm -hmm. Promo Show is going to give you a great tool to get together with these people 
get ideas and have a concerted message that you can take out to your, to your public. So um, I thought this was neat too. We had some, some age breakdown. So uh, Google Analytics does give us age breakdown. So I thought this was interesting. So 25 to 34, that age group made up about 20% of our audience. 45 to 54 also made up about 20% of that audience. 55 to 64 made up 19% of the audience. Yes. And then we had, it's interesting, our 35 to 44 year olds made up uh, about 16, 17% of that. And then our 65 plus 17% of that audience, uh, 65 plus. So really, I mean, pretty close, all of those numbers, but everybody is using video and everyone's getting more comfortable. And, uh, you know, they, people have learned so much over the course of these this last year, unbelievable amounts of education and knowledge that uh, people picked up in terms of dealing in a virtual type of environment. So, uh, so exciting. That is cool. And I love it. Uh, it's, it's one of those things where we talk about marketing being just constant and that's because promo show is live all the time. It is a live website. It, your marketing is constantly on. And then the sales point of it, if you make that schedule and you're on there and you're live during a certain time, then you can go and do sales. I love the fact that it can actually, because of the way that you said it can be plugged into the supplier's website. I love how it becomes another way for customer service to contact their customers or their customers to be able to contact customer yeah. service. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. What a unique way to do that too, to have that video. It, and, and it doesn't have to be video either. There can still be the chat back and forth. So that's still available. But I mean, that's customer service right there when you're available to those people coming to the website to help them to, you know, give them uh, direction in terms of what products you feel that are really are working for you as a supplier at that moment in time. Because that's what the, I mean, that's what the supplier brings. They bring the knowledge of their line and what's, what's working and, and who's buying it. Uh, and that's important. And that face-to-face -face meeting and to be able to discuss that is so much easier than the back and forth of an email. That's awesome. So we've got a couple of uh, comments here on the Facebook thread. So if you guys do have any questions, we're probably going to be live for about another five, maybe six minutes. Put them over here in the side. So we did have a nice little comment from Ellie. Uh, she said, I hate the word pivot, but promo corner is the epitome. Uh, thank you so much, Ellie. And then we do have a, a question in here uh, from a salesperson we might know. Amelia Model asks, oh. uh, how can a supplier host create a private meeting? Okay, so that's, you know, that's an interesting uh, aspect of it. And that's, that's another part of this that we're now seeing. And so we, we're, we're seeing suppliers that want to put on their own private events. And, and it's a huge piece of this because now they have a registration system that they can invite their distributors to to register for the event. They've uh, set up events at different times and different days to sort of uh, be open to the different schedules and are marketing those events. And so those events will come with registration lists and you'll know who's attended. Um, so the best way to do that, to get something like that going is to reach out to, of course, Amelia and talk to her. And, uh, so that would be a good way. And then I, 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 there's so much that we've done it. I often forget. We also, we rolled out uh, free video conferencing for any subscriber. So if you're a promocorner.com subscriber or a promoshow.com subscriber, if you go to promo show and log in, uh, you'll see a little webcam at the top. That is your own free personal video space to use as you see fit. It's a fully functioning video space. It gives you screen share. It gives you video talk. It has a chat feature built into it. And that is available to everybody at absolutely no cost to you. You just have to sign up for our service. So uh, an, another great way to utilize Promo Show on a day-to-day -day basis just to conduct, you know, your daily business outside of, you know, trade shows and events and and having meetings. So that, uh, that's, that is an option. Thanks, Amelia, for reminding me on that. <laughs> yeah, so much yeah. going through my head, it's hard to get to it all. <laughs> you knew the salesperson was going to have to throw something in there. So yeah, that was Amelia, good. Amelia, any other questions? That, I need? <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, so there is, so we've talked a little bit about what, like where you kind of see virtuals as things open back up, but on the short-term horizon, what's next for Promo Show? Well, short, short term is our show. So get over to promoshow.com and, and register for them. Tech and Office is on Tuesday. Get there, get registered. Let's, I would like to see you there. Uh, we got the Made in a USA again in April, apparel in June, holiday gifts in August, perfect timing, and bestsellers in the October. So those are, are short terms. But uh, 
really, I think what we're looking to do is our, is our next step is to sort of maybe get outside the industry a little bit and see if this can't be a service for other industries to do. And there's possibilities here where we may actually be able to work with distributors and partner on such efforts to create trade shows for other industries that want to do something similar, uh, whether it's a traditional virtual show with booths or it's a meeting style or it's some sort of combination where you have a, a vendor a distributor and a buyer type scenario. We are equipped to deal with those and we are looking to, to venture off into that space for sure. Uh, the other thing that we haven't done yet and I really want to do, we're totally set up for it, ready to go for it, is anyone that wants to host an education conference. So we're good to go with that. Um, we have our rooms. We can create uh, from those rooms. You can create breakout rooms. They can be private rooms. So they have to be invite only. Um, so I'd like to see us take better advantage of that. We have the ability to have the main stage, which has just been awesome. It's been so much fun. It's so neat. The main stage is basically pops up no matter where you are on the show floor for that particular event and allows you to communicate directly. We've done shout outs to booths. We've done education. Uh, we had the singing of the, the uh, Star Spangled Band. I mean, how much fun was that? That was just uh, so, so good. We've been making drinks on there. So I would really like to see us uh, hopefully do more in that, you know, education conference and, and do something along those lines. So those are, those are the areas. Outside the industry, what can, else can we do for people? Uh, and then uh, education. And then lastly, we'll, we'll continue to uh, mess with the, the, the site and try to enhance it. And, and there's lots of little things that we can do to constantly bring it up and get it a little bit better. Uh, so that's that's hopefully the future. So I can I can only imagine what it's going to be. We'll have to put it on your calendar right now. We'll put it out. The uh, uh, 2022 will be here again, and we'll talk about what happened in the second year of Promo Show and, and what that turned into. But, uh, I think that's yeah. I like that. I like that idea a lot. I love reoccurring content like this too. Is it? It's always fun to look back. I mean. Uh, we, I was kind of joking, like it's kind of both, has it already been a year? And oh my gosh, it's only been a year. Like it's one of those, it went yeah, so you know, fast. <laughs> it was so crazy. It was like, okay, everything's coming to a close. Everything's shutting down. It's the end of the world. And it's like, well, we got to do something. <laughs> we can't just sit here. We got to do something. So we did something and it's been fun and it's been a, a great ride and a great team to help me out here and really make this happen. Again, none of this would have happened without the entire Promo Corner team. Uh, Hallie, my daughter, has been involved this year, and she's really been helping out too. So we have uh, Andrea Derby's just joined us, and she's going to be uh, really working hard on this as well. So just, it's just been so much fun. That's yeah. awesome. Well, and it's kind of funny here. I was looking over, I, so I had only been looking at the Promo Corner uh, comments and there was some comments over on Promo Show and Shannon Laredo, you talked about shows. She was actually one of the first ones who did. She did a, a whole yeah. stretching routine uh, yeah. during one of our virtual shows. Yeah. And she said uh, one time Lori called him a wizard when she was talking uh, to Lori about how she was going to be able to put her up on the show floor. So you're not only the owner and the head programmer, but now you're the wizard at Promo Lord, Corners too. I'll have to remember that. I'll be the wizard. That's, well, that's one of the nicer terms. <laughs> Lori's been awesome. I couldn't have done any of this without Lori. She's been so helpful. She's worked so hard on content and doing all the speakers. I mean, what, it's just been instrumental in really providing the, you know, uh, sort of entertainment piece, the education piece to these shows, which is super important. You know, it's, it's one thing to meet with people, but to, to have the all encompassing pieces of the show, uh, she's just done so much, so much work on that. That's so, awesome. You know. Well, I think that's going to about wrap it up. Is there any last things you want to say to the people watching today? No, go to promoshow.com, uh, click on the uh, office and tech banner, get uh, pre-registered for that show on Tuesday and join us on Tuesday for that show. We're really looking forward to it and all the other shows that we're going to put on and, and look for other uh, people that are putting on shows. I, I know that there's a few other right now that have uh, a plans. So Innovation Line has a plan to uh, do some private shows. So that's exciting. Uh, PeerNet is going to be with us again. So that's exciting. Uh, just finished up NEPA. Thank those guys. They did a, a great job. That was our first hybrid. So uh, just, just come join us. Come join us. Check it out. Use the video. See how it works. Awesome, guys. 
Thank you so much for using Promo Show, for watching Express Training Bites here live on Facebook. And you can always check out these as they are recorded and then put back out on Promo Journal over at promocorner.com. But that's going to be it for Joel and me today. So we will see you next Thursday. Bye, Joel.